Hello friends, in this video we will talk about the basic difference between signal cables and control cables. If you like the video, please hit the subscribe and like button and don't forget to press the bell icon. So let's get started. First, let us see the applications of both signal cables and control cables. The signal cables are used to transmit the analog signal or data between the field instrument and control system. These analog signals can be low voltage or low current signal like 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 24 volt DC. While the control cables are used to send the control signal between the field devices and control system. These control cables also carry low power control signal, but the control cable does not carry any 4 to 20 milliampere signal. These cables carry on off command and on off status of field devices. In instrumentation system, the controls cable can be used to send the following signals. Number 1, 4 to 20 milliampere signal of pressure, flow, level or temperature transmitter and other transmitters. Second, millivolt signal of thermocouples and third, the resistance signal of RTD. While the control cables can be used to send the following control signal. First, on off command of pumps, motors, actuators, relay, alarms and many more. Second, the on off status signal of switches, contactors, push button, selector switch and limit switches. The signal cables are generally used to carry analog signals and they are connected between field instrument to analog input or analog output module of PLC. While the control cables are generally used to carry digital signals and they are connected between field instrument and digital input output modules of PLC or DCS. The signal cables has to be shielded cable only to protect the signal they are carrying from external interference or noise. The insulated wires of control cables need to be twisted to reduce the crosstalk. While in most of cases the control cables do not require any cable shielding and twisted pairs. But in some cases, control cables may also have cable shielding. The signal cables are generally called pair cable. These cables are available in single pair and multi pair sizes. Each pair may have individual, overall, or both individual and overall cable shielding. While the control cables are also called as core cables. These cables are available in multi-core sizes. No shielding is required in control cable, but in some cases, the control cable may have cable shielding. So that was all about the basic differences between signal cables and control cables. We do hope that you like the video.